Hey guys, uh, so I thought I would uh, share my spoiler opinions about the Snyder Cut and uh, just go over some of my favorite moments. I'm just going to bring up some of my favorite scenes. Um, so to begin, uh, the movie really delves into this really cool um, flashback of when Superman died by the hand of Doomsday. And I just thought the scene was really well done. It kind of showed it with a horror aspect, kind of. Uh, you know, it, it just... Um, you got to see it from the viewpoint of the human characters like Lois and Batman. And speaking of Lois, um, Lois, you know, the next scene she's shown to be visiting Superman's monument. And it's a really mournful scene, but I think it's very beautifully done. And the music accompanies that scene very beautifully. I just think it's wonderfully done. And plus, there is a Zack Snyder cameo in that scene, so be on the lookout for that. And the next scene is uh, with the Amazons and Hippolyta leading them. Uh, there is an invasion coming. Obviously, it's Steppenwolf, and he's very, um, very determined to get the Mother Box. And Hippolyta and her Amazons fight fiercely and it's actually it actually uh, shows the Amazons in a new light kind of uh, showing them you know cooler than they've ever been uh, their their you know fighting techniques and everything it's very cool and the fact that they would uh, sacrifice their lives for this uh, you know mother box to protect the earth I think that's just very very interesting um, speaking of invasion, uh, we have Steppenwolf, obviously. He's, you know, he's more fleshed out in this cut. Uh, he's, he's just a far more interesting villain, and his design has been drastically improved. Uh, it's just quite amazing what Zack has done with Steppenwolf. Um, I just think they made him a sympathetic villain. It's really great. And uh, speaking of another great scene, um, there's the scene where Diana rescues uh, the schoolgirls uh, from the uh, terrorists, and I think that scene is just amazing. It's inspiring. It shows Wonder Woman at her full power, and uh, the way the girls look up to her is just very inspiring. Next, we have uh, the scene where <laughs> with Arthur where he's he's majestic but also kind of he's kind of like uh, you know he's had his his fill of the ocean world he's kind of um, very pessimistic towards things and just shows this um, great character moment you know where you know here we have this majestic king who is not willing to take his throne uh, he would rather you know be in squalor than uh, you know take the throne I just think it's a really great scene and Jason Momoa plays it perfectly and uh, once again the score is amazing uh, the music choice I should say is amazing in that scene so then we have uh, Darkseid or you know baby Darkseid Uxus um, we have his uh, invasion scene in the Age of Heroes um, it's just it's just a really phenomenal scene and I really think it's it's just very well done. Then we have Cyborg, who was completely cut out of the original cut, but is now the heart of the movie, and it's completely true. Uh, this scene where Vic is playing football and, you know, Silas is in there, is just emotionally, it's very beautiful, and you get to see his connection with his mother, and it's just really beautiful, and I believe Vic is indeed the heart of the movie, and uh, Ray Fisher did an amazing job. Then we have John John's Martian Manhunter. Um, I have always been a huge Martian Manhunter fan, and uh, it's just amazing to see him in film. Even though you know he was pretending to be Martha, um, it, it was just a great scene. And then of course we have Steppenwolf taking the Mother Box. Um, he he's. Uh, you know in the atlantis and I, I just think it's a great scene plus seeing mira's cool powers in that scene 
is just amazing. Oh, and by the way, if I am uh, if I am talking about these scenes out of order, I apologize in advance. Um, <laughs> it, it is a four-hour movie, so I don't exactly remember the order specifically, but I'm trying my best. Okay, and then we have uh, Steppenwolf uh, talking to Desaad. Um, he, uh, you know, you get to learn about his backstory, and it's just, it's amazing, I think, um, how cool, you know, that is, that they gave him a great backstory, and made him a character that, you know, you, not necessarily root for, but, like, you know, you understand where he's coming from. And then, we have the, the, these, like, awesome, kind of nightmarish scenes, like, you know, there's a uh, Diana right there on the pyre. Um, I just think that it's really cool. It's such uh, vivid imagery, and it just goes to show what the stakes are. Um, you know, with Dark Side invasion coming. You know, and speaking of Dark Side, here he is uh, gutting Aquaman. Um, so I mean, yeah. Once again, you know, you get to see the stakes and what's coming, and it's kind of like a vision right now. But you know, it could come true at some point, and it most likely will. And I just think uh, Zach's ambition here is just—it's really amazing, and I—I I cannot wait to see Zack Snyder's Justice League 2. I really hope it happens, and I hope they restore the Snyderverse. I just think um, you know, there's no way that you cannot give us this this is just too amazing and speaking of too amazing i mean you see this like you know the shot of superman cr cradling lois's you know charred remains his dark side you know overtakes him and he succumbs to the anti-life and i just think man that's just that's just such a like haunting shot you know it's 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 completely haunting and i i just can't believe that any comic book director would be ballsy enough to put that in a movie. I, I just, I love it. Anyway, so we have this emotional scene where Lois is once again, you know, visiting Clark's monument, um, and she's ready to let go, but then all of a sudden, he is resurrected, and it's just, it's just um, absolutely amazing. Amy Adams' acting is just really brilliant here. So now we skip ahead to the fight. Um, Superman, of course, he's my favorite character, and you know I, I have loved him since Man of Steel. Uh, you know, just it. You know, this 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 interpretation of the character is just absolutely amazing. I um, I really love it, and I mean. Coming up is like my favorite shot in the entire movie. Like here, I just love this shot. It just shows how you know grand Superman is, and you know he he really is the beacon of hope that you know Batman says he is. He he inspires so many people, and I just love the hero's journey that Superman took from Man of Steel all the way to Zack Snyder's Justice League, and hopefully going forward. Um, I'm just really excited to see it. And uh, so here we have the league, and this is this amazing group shot, and it's just a really inspiring shot. It's just you know these gods, these literal gods, coming together for you know to stop evil, and it's just really inspiring. It's it's great. I I love this shot right here. Um, and then of course. You know, Superman comes in, kicks Steppenwolf's ass, and Diana <laughs> joins in, and Arthur, and it's just, it's just great, it's the tag team, and you kind of feel bad for Steppenwolf, but then you remember, you know, he's a fucking psychopath murderer, so, so, <laughs> there, there's that, it's just, it's a great shot, and speaking of great shots, oh, it's Barry turning back time, oh man, it, it's just, I, what can I say about that scene, it's, it's so cool such a cool scene and i love the callback to his uh conversation with his father about being the best of the best i just think uh barry was very underutilized in the theatrical cut and here he's just his full potential has you know been achieved um and then of course like i said um cyborg vic just uh what a great character arc zach has created for cyborg um rape 
Ray Fisher's acting is just amazing and you know you you hear that line about him not being broken and I just thought that was really beautiful how he uh, accepts uh, the love that he deserves anyway so here we have the, this amazing shot I believe these are the fates um, so yeah uh, cyborg is splitting the uh, mother boxes right there and then this amazing shot by the way how great does Superman look in this shot um, yeah so uh, this is their stare down with dark side because this is the point where they're like hey we're coming for you we're ready and it's the first time that dark side has you know really been threatened and he's scared but he's ready to launch his armada and I I just love that they're teasing a sequel and ah, man I just really hope we get that sequel I really want it now dark side is such a cool villain anyway so here we have the great group shot of the league standing heroic like Greek gods it's just amazing I I love this shot I love junkie XL score junkie XL is just amazing in this movie he's his score is just great uh, it's a very inspiring shot and then we have the very cool nightmare sequence um, with Joker Deathstroke Flash Mira uh, Cyborg Batman it's just and then of course let's not forget evil Superman that that is that is a very haunting and great shot but anyway I love Joker's rapport with uh, Batman it's very interesting dynamic there and then here we have Bruce looking all godly and stuff even though he just got out of bed I mean <laughs> who looks like that when they get out of bed That's <laughs> you know what I mean I, I just uh, anyway I love his chat with uh, Martian Manhunter um, he's uh, He's just like, oh yeah, just another alien showing up at my door. And Martian Manhunter is like, yep, I'm ready to join this team. And uh, we have to defeat Darkseid. And, oh man, I'm just, I cannot believe I am seeing a live-action Martian Manhunter. Uh, it's just, ugh, you know, for years. I never thought it would ever happen, but it's just great. So thank you, Zack Snyder. And let's hope that they restore the Snyderverse. And, uh... Yeah, if I were to rank this movie with the other uh, Snyderverse movies, I would probably say that um, I, I think I like Batman vs. Superman a little more because that was more of a cool personal story. But uh, yeah, so I would rank it Batman vs. Superman, and then Zack Snyder's Justice League, then Man of Steel. And I give all three movies a 10 out of 10. They're all amazing movies, and I love them. All right, well, that's my uh, spoiler review, I guess, or, I don't know, opinions. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed the movie.